Okay, I wasn't very nervous, and the principle that is saving my life is conservation of energy. Okay, that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, call this the bowling ball of death, and it didn't look like I was coming that close to death. Back in the old building, and when we taught in Reed, we had a little eye hook up in the middle of the ceiling and we would bring the bowling ball clear across the room and stand up against a brick wall and that bowling ball would swing across the room and come right back up and touch the nose. And uh, when we built this new building, all of us came in and looked for a place where we could put that eye bolt and the people in the Burns Telecommunication Center, no way, no way you're going to swing us a bowling ball near that great big uh, beautiful screen. So they nixed it. So we, we uh, Jerry came up with this alternative. We are very appreciative, appreciative of his work there. Now, um, we're going to be talking about conservation of energy today. And this is a topic that uh, I know you covered in the fourth grade, and then you covered it again in the sixth grade, and then again in the eighth grade. It's a very popular topic. We're going to hopefully go deeper and uh, give you a better understanding of this idea of energy. Whenever we start a new topic, we have fairly basic homework problems to begin with. These are fairly basic. And I'm going to show you how to do problem four before the end of today's lecture. Now, um, that, uh, that demo, um, as good as it is, has some flaws that we'll talk about in a little bit. Let me show you another demo that was done when I was younger. I was a cute kid, huh? What type of energy does the ball earth system have just before release? What kind of energy is largest at the lowest point of the arc? Why doesn't the ball strike the boy upon return? Yeah, why? <laughs> Concrete block wall knocked down. All good questions. <laughs> now, uh, when we did it over in Reed Hall, it was departmental policy that you always had to have your head up against the brick wall before you started the demo. And you'll notice that that kid had his head firmly up against the brick wall when he was doing it. Why is that important? So you don't sway forward? Yeah, you know where your head is if it's up against the wall. Okay, it turns out that this became departmental policy after an accident. The gentleman who had this job before me, Denny Lee, uh, <laughs> this is not how he died, he's still alive actually. <laughs> but, he was just away from the wall, and he started it, and then he leaned forward a little bit as he was talking, and it came back, hit his mouth, there was blood, there was stitches, it was the demo you always dreamed of, and uh, that's when we came up with a new policy that said, thou must have your head against the brick wall. 